Hi Clip Beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Chidima aka Clip. Thank you so much for tuning in for today's tutorial. So today is another hair series tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to prepare your attachment extension kinakalon hair for, <laughs> for your ventilating. So I want to teach you guys how you can actually achieve that very beautiful look for ventilating and how to make your hair to be perfect for braiders okay and convenient for them so please stay tuned for the video and i'll be seeing you guys after a short while back guys so like i said today we'll be doing um, a tutorial on how to prepare your clinicalon hair so today i'll be using superstar superstar darling and this is 82 inches so i'm going to be bringing out like the one i already have you know the half of it so when you open your attachments your clinicalon superstar or any other um, attachment you decide to use just go ahead and open it up by using your scissors to tear it open then after that you bring out one part of it because they usually have to except for lush then go ahead and remove the rubber band you can decide to move the rubber band without cutting it open but man i have i have too much of this rubber band at home so there is no need for it so i had to cut it just to make the whole thing very fast <laughs> so the next thing you need to do is to divide this into two you can decide to divide it into three or four places but for me let's just go ahead and divide into two we'll still divide more okay because what i want to ventilate is a very small you know a very small closure so you tie up the other one and keep the reason why you need to be doing it step by step um like you need to divide it is that you wouldn't want to waste your attachment so you just need to be dividing it little by little and be making use of it because you might um forget everything or where you kept it or something like that i don't know if you guys understand what i mean then the next thing you need to do is to brush the tips you need to brush it not to fish it out no but you need to brush it to make it um uh, very convenient for you to open up for the second um, um pattern okay now you can see the edges are still blunt right the edges are still blunt so you just brushed it to make it free so next thing we're going to do is we're going to divide it again just make sure we don't waste our attachment we need to divide it again so right now i'm trying to bring out like the amount i need right now you can go ahead and cut it like this but i don't know i would advise that just you have to divide it into four places then you cut it even if you want to cut one full attachment at the same time just go ahead and do it little by little cut into um divide into four then you cut it so i'm going to go ahead and um fix that edge make sure that they are in line then i'm going to cut the first one the first one you cut means cutting two so when you hear somebody saying cutting two that means they cut it just once at the center then the third one the second one sorry yeah the second one i'm going to do right now is called cutting four now cutting four is when you've cut it for two times okay when you fold it two times and cut it that's cutting four now we are going for cutting six and this is when you cut it three times okay you use your scissors on it three times but the patterns what you've cut and how they will, they will be is going to be in six parts so that's why it's called cutting six okay i don't know if what i said makes sense but i hope it does so right now we're going to brush it just to make sure that it's ready to use and it's not going to be tangled you know it's going to be tangle free that is the thing and thank you guys for watching today's tutorial like this is just it there's nothing more for you to do when you are ventilating with you just bring out a little piece from it and ventilate to it okay 
so thank you guys for watching today's tutorial if this is your first time here please make sure you hit that subscribe button and all my old viewers thank you so much for always tuning in i love you guys i love you guys bye